Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? I'm great. How about you? I'm good. Only sick, only you and me. As always, you are always the first one. That's good. Yeah, so two, uh -huh. two day two day more and end. It's over. Exactly. Just two more classes and that's yes. it. Are you ready for the next level? Yes, I confirm today. Excellent. That's great. So how yeah. about your how about your classmates? Hopefully. Uh, I told yesterday and today, hey, continue because it's good opportunity. It is, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So I hope they continue. You know, I know that the schedule is difficult, but it's a great opportunity. So I hope everybody oh, yeah. can continue. Oh, yeah, this is good. Um, most in, the, in, the, my, in my city hall is a lot of people in um, American people need to talk in English so it's that good yes I know so that's it's a great opportunity for getting a better opportunities to talk to that people yes so okay. continue continue great yes. okay let's see hello everybody hello Jesenia how are you Lily, are you hello. there? Hello. 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 How, how are you? Very good. Excellent. Welcome to the Thank class. You. So, everybody, welcome, welcome. Who else? Who else? Oh, I can see Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm great. And you? I, I'm fine. Thank you. Very good. Welcome to the class. And, oh, I can see Elizabeth. Thanks. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, everybody, we are in the middle of the week. So today is Wednesday. Two more classes. And you have finished the first level. So just imagine, remember the first week. Ahí estábamos la primera semana. Ay, que no voy a terminar. Que me voy a salir. But look at you now. Estamos a dos clases de que ustedes puedan terminar el módulo número one. So, espero que eso les pueda servir para motivarlos a que continúen con el segundo nivel. Right? Véanlo de esta forma. Solo piensen, cada nivel, cuatro semanas. Ah, ok. Se significa que en cuatro semanas más estarían terminando el... Segundo nivel, right? So, ¿qué significa eso? No lo vean tan lejos. Piénsenlo, hey, so en un par de meses, ¿cómo va a estar mi nivel de inglés? Right? Y sé que es difícil. I know. Yo sé que el horario es difícil. I know. Pero sí se puede. Se puede porque ya lo comprobaron. Ya hicieron una semana. Así que ahí está comprobado de que sí se puede. Requiere esfuerzo. I know. Pero se puede, okay? So today we are going to have a lot of practice. And eh, si hay un topic que sientan que es difícil, si hay un topic que no han entendido muy bien, today is the day. Porque vamos a hacer un poquito de practice de lo que hemos estado viendo, all right? Así que si necesitan un review, si necesitan que les vuelva a explicar algo, please just let me know, all right? Important things, just remember the attendance. No descuidemos la attendance, please. Remember, tenemos que cumplir con el porcentaje de la asistencia, así que tratemos de estar conectados los días que nos restan durante las dos horas, okay? What else? Iba a decirles algo y no me acuerdo qué era. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Ana, how are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Um, iba a decirles, guys, um, las tareas, homeworks. Debido a que eh, este nivel termina el viernes, right? El viernes debo actualizar notas. La verdad, no sé si me van a permitir que ustedes terminen plataforma durante el fin de semana. 
Um, así que para estar más seguros, please, tratemos de terminar la plataforma during the week. Ok, tratemos de terminarla para el viernes, para que el viernes al finalizar la clase yo pueda actualizar notas. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes hasta ya la terminaron, hasta ya hicieron el examen final y estoy, bueno, estoy viendo buenas calificaciones. Así que that's good. Just remember, eh, si no termina la plataforma, right, eh, no podrían pasar al siguiente nivel. Remember, la plataforma no es como opcional, sino que es una obligation. Ok, así que please, trabajemos en la plataforma y tratemos de terminarla a tiempo. All right. ¿Preguntas con respecto a la plataforma? No. Ok. Well, if you don't have questions, let me share the presentation for today. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes. Okay, so today is December 14th. We are almost in the middle of the month. So, this is the topic. Prepositions of place, practice. So, yesterday we studied preposition of place, we studied giving address. So la idea es volver a practicar un poquito este topic, okay? So today objective participants will be able to use their is and their are, y también los quantifiers, but also practice prepositions of place. Veamos si se acuerdan de los prepositions of place. One more time, cuando usábamos on? Do you remember? Uh, days and um, days. Mm, pero eso es cuando hablamos de time. In this mm. moment, I'm talking about places. Puedo usar on si estoy hablando um, de, for example, on morning. Puedo decir on morning. Uh, no. On winter. Mm. Es sobre superficies. Exactly. ¿Cómo digo superficies? Surface. Good. Surface. 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 Exactly. Can you give me examples of surface? Table. On the table. The street. Yes. También cuando estamos hablando de las streets. For example, on... First Avenue on Main Street, ¿ok? So, ¿cuándo vamos a usar on? Surface and streets, ¿ok? So, when can we use in? Do you remember? On cities. On, mm -hmm. on, on in. A countries, aha, uh -huh. in some rooms. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I say in the night? What do you think? In the night? In midnight? Can I say That's that? Night. Ah, night. very good. How about evening? Can I say in the evening? Yes. Yes, very good. So, exactly as you said, in is for cities, countries, and remember, inside a place. Cuando estamos dentro de algo, we say in, okay? And the last one, at. How can I use at? Do you remember? Single specific location. Good job. When we want to be specific, right? For example, at work, at, at home. home. Exactly. So every time that you want to be specific, we say at, okay? Now, I have a question. Imagine que yo estoy en un edificio, right? This is a building. <laughs> And the building has different floor. It has the first floor, the second floor, the third, and so on and so on. Y yo estoy aquí. So, 
What do you think? ¿Qué preposición voy a usar? Ah, yo estoy en el second floor. So, what do you think? I am ta, 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 second floor. In. In. Mm -hmm. Why? Because inside the, the building. Okay. That's a very good logic. It's inside the building. Anyone else? Another idea? At because a specific place. At because it's a very specific point. Okay. Por ahí escuché a alguien que dijo on. ¿Por qué on? Because it's in the surface to the floor. Because it's on a surface. Hmm. In this case, everybody, that is the correct answer. On. And as your classmate said, lo que ustedes dicen tiene mucho sentido. In, ah, pues es que estamos adentro. Yes. At, porque es specific. Yes, tiene sentido. Pero debido a que estamos usando la palabra floor. ¿Qué significa floor? Piso. Piso. ¿Es una superficie, yes or not? Yes. Yes. So that's why we are going to use on. on. Okay. So, be careful with that. Aquí usamos on porque tengo la palabra floor. Y sabemos que el piso es una surface. Okay? Now, let's do a practice. Imagine that this is the exam. So, choose the correct answer. But let's go to the manual in the page 48. And here we got the sentences. I need a volunteer. Please for reading the instruction. Complete the conversation with the correct preposition of place. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Number one, he has a presentation. Ta -ta 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 -ta, the meeting room. At, at the meeting in or room. on. Okay. He said at. Everybody, do you agree? At. Yes or no? In, in the meeting room. In the meeting room, on the meeting room, or at the meeting room. Mm -hmm. Remember the scenarios. At. ¿Por qué at? Uh, voy a dejar de compartir un momento porque voy a volver a compartir el link uh, de la clase a uno de sus classmates. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, ¿por qué at? ¿Por qué in? What do you think? At because a specific place. Ah, it's a specific place. So remember everybody, ese escenario lo vimos en las clases anteriores, right? At the meeting room. So it's very specific place. So that is the correct answer. Now let's continue with the next one. But Solo un momento, please. Estoy tratando de compartirle el link nuevamente a uno de sus classmates. Um, ¿Alguien más ha tenido problemas para entrar? ¿Les pide contraseña o algo? No, right? No. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Ya pude ingresar. Excellent. Very good. Very good. So everybody, um, voy a enviar nuevamente el link al grupo por si cualquiera de sus classmates no ha podido entrar. Espero que nadie tenga más inconvenientes. Okay, let's go back to the exercise. So in este caso, remember, it's very specific. So that's why we are going to say at, at the meeting room. Number two, volunteer for reading the number two, please. The laptop is the main table. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, the main table. Mm, um, what is? It's on. Um, Why? Why do you think that it's on? Why? Uh huh. 
look, surface. If we are talking about the table, that's a surface. All right, I need a volunteer for reading the number three, please. The exhibition is San Miguel. Thank you. Uh -huh. What is the correct proposition? In. 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 Why? Uh -huh. San Miguel is? San Miguel. Exactly. And it's a city. Very good. Okay, volunteer for the number four. What is your boss? My boss is work. Thank you. Uh -huh. What is the correct proposition? At, At work. At work, correct. It's a very specific place. Excellent job. Number five, volunteer for reading. Human resource is the here floor. Thank you. Uh -huh, everybody. At, in or on? Um, on. on. That's on. correct. On. Remember, on floor. Floor is a surface. Okay, and the last one, volunteer for reading. One is the photocopy center. Thank you. So what do you at. think? Uh -huh. um, at. at. It's a specific place. Right? Excellent job, everybody. So, remember, cuando hablamos de las propositions of place at, in, and on, solo recordemos los escenarios en los que tenemos que usar cada uno de ellos. All right? So, ready for the exam? En el exam les van a preguntar esto, así que be careful, be careful. Um, let's see, before continue, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, if you listen to your name, stay present, okay? So, Ana Carmina? Present teacher. All right. Douglas Arnoldo? Present. Very good. Guillermo? Present. Nice. Um, Harvin? Present. Very good. Jesus Ernesto? Okay. Uh, Jesus Joannis? Present. Very good. Rigoberto Padilla? Okay. Rogelio Enrique? Present teacher. Enrique, welcome back. Welcome. <laughs> Tiempos de no verlo, my goodness. ¿Qué pasó? Uh, ahí algo atrasadito. Saliendo tarde ya del trabajo, ya no pude conectarme, teacher. All right, pero bienvenido de vuelta. <ríe> bueno, well, espero, espero que ya no falte estos últimos días. Ya solo dos días quedan, oh. Enrique, ¿ok? <ríe> no, voy a tratar de no faltar. All right, very good. Ok, let's see, Selvis. Present, teacher. Very good. Um, Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Very good. Sonia Veronica. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Wilson Ortega. Wilson. Okay. Siomar Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Lily Navarro. Present teacher. Excellent, very good. Okay, everybody, let's continue. As I mentioned at the beginning of the class, para los que no habían ingresado, remember, el curso se termina el viernes. Viernes al finalizar la clase, yo actualizo las notas, así que eh, debido a que el viernes es el último día, I'm not sure si nos van a dejar que ustedes terminen la plataforma el fin de semana. Esperaría yo que sí, pero para mayor seguridad, tratemos de terminar la plataforma lo más pronto posible. All right. Más adelante, cuando ya vayamos a finalizar, les voy a mostrar cómo van sus notas para que vean cuántos ya avanzaron y cuántos todavía no. Así que be careful. Now, también estudiamos otras prepositions of place. Cuando dimos giving address, vimos prepositions como in front of. ¿De qué otras prepositions se acuerdan? 
between, behind, behind, in the um, outside, outside, inside, inside, next to, next to. Oh. Yes. Look at the next picture and describe the location of the object. For example, if I ask you, um, where is the TV? What will be the answer? Inside the table. Okay, can mm. I say inside the table? Behind. On. <laughs> On. Uh -oh. uh -oh. um. We can use the preposition. On. So the TV is on the table, all right? And where is the table? Mm -hmm. Where is it's the table? It's uh, next to the sofa. It's next to the sofa. Very good, very good. Let's see, where is um, the chair? What proposition can you use? Where is the chair? It's next to the door. It's next to the door. Very good. Where is the rock? What do you think? Where is the rock? It's on the floor. It's on the floor. Ah, it's on the floor. Also, we can use this preposition. On, on there. there. So I can say the rock is under the sofa. The so sofa. what do you think? What is the meaning of under? Debajo. Exactly. Debajo. Right? Very good. Okay, another one. Hmm, where, um, let's see. Where, um, where is the clock? Where is the clock? It's on the wall. It's on the wall. That's correct. And uh, where is... The chime. Which prepositions can we use for chime? It's between, between the sofa. The, sofa. Uh -huh. and... the sofas, right? It's between the sofas. Nice job. Excellent. Now look at the next picture. And I will ask in individual. You just have to use a preposition. Let's start with Xiomara. Xiomara, where is the cat? Give me a preposition. Where is the cat? Where is the cat? Uh, on on okay on what on, on the cat on the what es un gato verdad yes um, so, the preposition is correct is on pero on what sobre qué está el cat on no sé cómo se llama eso. Alfombra. Hmm. On the rug, como una alfombra, right? O podría ser una almohada, una pale. Yeah, that's ah. correct. Okay, the next one. Let me ask to Elizabeth. Hmm. Elizabeth, where is the teddy? Hmm. <laughs> On the tocador. <laughs> on the what? On the tocador. <laughs> no. Puede leer, usted puede leer. Sería um, behind the 
How do you say florir? Ya lo había dicho. Mm, behind. On the. On the. No sé cómo se dice tocador. All right. In this case, if you see, we got like this one, que es como un tocador. We can call it like dressing table. Dressing table. Okay. On the dressing table. On the dressing table. Yeah. Dressing table. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Selby's. Selby's, tell me, where is the poster? Where is the poster? Um, pared, no me recuerdo cómo me dijo que se llamaba. Wall. 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 Mm -hmm. Wall. Uh -huh. Um... On the wall. On the wall. That's the one. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Joannis, tell me where is the car? In the floor. On the floor. In the floor. Uh, yes, on the floor. Let's see, the, 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 Guillermo, where is the guitar? It's on the floor or, um, eh, como se dirá, sobre o recostada la pared. Mm, you can say on, on, or, in this case, ¿qué otra preposición podríamos utilizar en lugar de on? A between next to between. or between, between the bed. Aha. Uh -huh. So remember, we can use different between prepositions. We can say between, between the bed and the dressing table, next to the wall, on the floor, right? So let's see the next one. Harvin, where is the skateboard? It's under the, the, the bed. Under the bed. Very good. Let's see. Douglas, where is um, the computer? No entiendo nada, teacher. Yo todas palabras no sé qué significa. Okay. <laughs> But try, try. Okay, vamos a repasarlas. What is the meaning of in front of? Everybody? Enfrente. En en Very good. Okay, what is the meaning of next to? Next to. What is that? Al lado. Exactly. Al lado. A la par. Right? What is the meaning of behind? Atrás. That's correct. What is the meaning yes, of behind? Between? Behind is atrás, right? Atrás. atrás. Okay, estoy anotando despacio. Between. Between teachers. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh. what is it? Between is a los lados. Between is like en medio, right? It's like, for example, si yo tuviese una ventana en aquí medio. y tengo otra ventana, yo estoy between, en medio. Right. Luego tenemos mm -hmm. on, que dijimos que uh, era para superficies, right? So cuando decimos on es sobre algo, right? Remember in es cuando hablamos de cuando están adentro de algo. At is okay. for specific places, algo bien específico, como, como cuando decimos at work. At the meeting room. Inside es también adentro de algo, right? Cuando tenemos un objeto dentro de algo. Y el opuesto sería outside. So, for example, ¿pueden ver el árbol? Can you see the tree? Yes. 
the tree is inside Afuera. or outside? Outside. Exactly. Exactly. That's correct. Teacher, and behind. 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 Mm -hmm. Behind is atrás. All right. Okay. For example. ¿Qué es que se, se yo todo distorsionado por la señal. ¿En cuál? At. Oh, at. at. At basically es cuando decimos un lugar específico. For example, at home, at work, at the meeting room. Si se fijan on, in, and at, podríamos traducirlos como en. Pero la diferencia sería la forma en cómo los usamos. On es para superficies. In es para decir algo que está adentro. Y at es para lugares very specific. Ok. And the last one is under. What is the meaning of under? Y outside. <laughs> outside es afuera. Ok. Yes. Under. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is the meaning of under? Debajo dijeron ahí. Exactly. Just okay, like hoy that. Sí pregúnteme. Hoy sí pregúnteme. Ya entendí. Excelente. Outside, afuera, inside. Es adentro. adentro. Exactly. Y next, next to, next to. Next to, it's like a la par. Uh, a un lado. Uh -huh. mm, podríamos decir a un lado, yes, o más que todo lo usamos para decir a la par. For example, uh -huh. ¿a dónde está el teddy bear? El teddy bear is next to the flower vase. Flower vase. Mm -hmm. Okay, Douglas, where is the computer? Yes. Where the computer? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, on the table. That's correct. Very good, very good. Let's see who's next, who's next. Enrique. Enrique. <laughs> Enrique, where is the ball? The ball. Mm. Ball. Tú puedes, Enrique. <laughs> on, on, the, on the floor. On floor. the floor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You see, guys, you can do it. Anna, where is the book? It's on the bed. bed it's, it's on the bed. The bed. <laughs> Very good. So if you see everybody, the most important thing is memorize the meaning of each preposition. Una vez que se las han memorizado, pues es más fácil. Okay? Now, ¿para qué nos sirven estas teacher. prepositions? Para dar direcciones. Yes, tell me. Teacher, under, ¿qué significa? Under o under. 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 No lo tengo anotado eso. Ok, everybody. Sí, under. What is the meaning of under? Debajo. Debajo. Exactly. That is the one. Debajo. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, um, any other question, everybody? Is there a preposition that you don't know the meaning? Or is it clear? Is it clear? Okay, so Memorizar. exactly, we need to memorize them. But as I said, when you memorize them, it is easier. So why is it important, the prepositions? Because we need prepositions to give address, ¿ok? Cuando damos direcciones, ¿qué tengo que decir primero? Do you remember? Um, the name of the street. Very good. Cuando damos una dirección, lo primero que hay que decir es el name of the street. ¿Y qué preposición necesito cuando digo el name of the street? On. Oh. On. Exactly. So, digo on, luego la calle. Y después de eso, ¿qué puedo decir? What do I need? 
Un punto de referencia. Un punto de referencia. Sí. Excelente. So, para dar ese punto de referencia es que yo necesito las prepositions. Las prepositions que acabamos de ver. In front of, behind, next to, between. Ok. So, let's do a practice and let's see if you remember this topic. Here we got the same prepositions. Esto ya lo vimos. So, here I have a city. Okay? Imagine I have here the different names of the street. Tengo Central Street, First Street, High Street, Second Street. Tengo muchas streets. Now, imagine yo necesito saber where is the bank. So, pueden decirme where is the bank? It's on, it's on High Street. Uh -huh. um, vean, punto de referencia. Punto de referencia. Sería next to cinema uh, uh, or post office. Very good. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Exactly. So if you see, we can say, ah, the bank. It's on, so preposition, and the name of the street, on high street. Y luego el punto de referencia, next to the cinema. Or, podríamos usar between, between post office and cinema, okay? Again, I will be asking individually. Let me start with Sonia Veronica. Hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. Okay, Sonia, can you tell me where is the supermarket? It's on High Street, uh, between Barquet, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Bakery. Bakery and theater. 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 All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Veronica. Podríamos okay. decir between, porque es como que si estuviera en medio, right? O podríamos decir behind, como que atrás de estos dos or next to. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. Enrique, you are the next one. <laughs> Enrique, where is the hospital? Mm, the hospital in Central Street. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Uh -huh. um, Atrás de... How can I say atrás? Behind. 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 Uh -huh. Behind a sweet shop. Yes, Enrique, yeah. very good. That's the one. So, everybody, the hospital. Si yo quiero decir que el hospital está en la esquina, how can I say that? Around the corner. Around the corner. Around the corner o simplemente on the corner okay very good okay the next one let's see sonia elizabeth okay sonia let's see um, where is the school the school and uh, uh the central on the central street the street and next to restaurant very good that's the one that's the one okay next is douglas okay douglas where is um where is the church uh, no sé mucho porque no estaba en este de eso no 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 como le explico no es no recibí nada de eso, pues no estuve en ese momento, pero bien, voy a intentarlo. Excellent, the try. Church, the church, um, the, 
low street. Uh -huh. um, ok, ¿está en el low street o está en el central street? ¿Qué calle tiene más cerca? Central, central street. All right. So the church is on Next. On Central, Central Street. Street. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Next to. Uh -huh. But stop. That's it. Vaya Douglas, you see, la acaba de decir bien. Solo recordemos que antes de decir el nombre de la calle, tenemos que decir la proposition on. So, ¿a dónde está okay. la church? On Central Street, next to bus stop. Ok. Very good, very good. Ya ve que si pueden, si pueden. Okay, the next. Um, I'm going to ask to, to Guillermo. Guillermo, where is the police station? It's on Central Street. Uh, behind market. Behind the market. All right. Very good job. Let's see, Harbin, where is the park? It's um, between Central Street and Love Street. That's the one. Excellent. So, everybody, this is the way that we can give address. Okay. Let's continue. Who's next? Who's next? Um, Jesus Joannis. This is a different city. Okay. So, sí. Joannis, where is hmm, the stadium? Where this is the stadium? On the Oak Street. Uh -huh. From to what is the name? The um, uh, it's in the Oak Street on the Oak Street in the uh -huh. corner to the corner to the on the hill road. Yes, very good. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, Jesus Ernesto, tell me where is hmm let's see where is the gas station uh, the gas station on elm street um from uh, two uh, restaurants all right in front of the restaurants great job great job okay next let's see selvis selvis where is the bank where is the bank is on is on Behin. Okay, the first the street is on. Is on a street behind. Uh -huh. Behind. Behind. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cafe. Okay, ¿qué significa behind? Behind atrás. 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 All right. Atrás. So, el banco está atrás del café o a la par del café? A la par. Sería a la, next to, next to a la par. Exactly. <laughs> so in this case, it's much better next to. Porque es como que está a la par. Right? So we can say next to the cafe. All right? Very good, Selvis. Thank you. Um, who's next? Who's next? Xiomara. Um, let's see. Xiomara, where is the cinema? Del cinema, vamos a ver si voy a intentarlo. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Intente, intente, no worries. El, el que está en la par, ¿qué es? Uh, es un mall. Ah, ok, un mall. Sería on eh, Oval Street. Ajá. Street, cinema. Next to. 
next to a small. Next to the mall. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, Wilson. Wilson, where is the police station? Uh, the police station is uh, uh, on the on the Park Avenue mm -hmm. uh, in the corner. All right, that's the one. And let's see, Desenia, where is hmm, where is the church? Este es una church y este es un city hall. Okay, so where is the church? Uh -huh, Lily. Hola, hola. Okay, go ahead. Um, on Park Avenue, uh -huh. eh, next to. ¿Qué me dijo que era lo que estaba la paz? City Hall. Okay, next to City Hall. That's the one. Very good. Okay, Verónica. Verónica, ya le pregunté. No, right? No, right. Sí, pero pregúnteme. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Verónica, where is the school? Eh, on Elm Street. Okay. On the street. Um, In front of, um, ¿qué será eso? Restaurant. Which one? Este or this sí. one? No. Oh, it's a drugstore, like a pharmacy. Oh, entonces, on L Street. Uh -huh. In front of pharmacy. That's the one. Very good. Okay, ¿a alguien no le he preguntado? Hoy ya les pregunté a todos. Ok, well. Ok, espero ya haberles preguntado a todos. Ok, look, that's the way that we can give address. So, imagine que de repente ustedes trabajaran en la gas station y les pregunten, hey, where do you work? Ah, uh, I work at the gas station. Okay, if, where is it? Ah, it's on Elm Street Elm in front Street. of the restaurant. <coughs> so, primero decimos el name of the street y luego un punto de referencia. Or just imagine, ustedes están aquí en el City Hall. Llega un turista y les dice, hey, where is the cafe? Easy, ¿qué le diríamos? Where is the cafe? On Elm on Elm Street. Uh -huh. Between, between the, the next between next the bank and bank drugs and the drugstore. Drug exactly. So luego llega otro turista y le dice, Hey everybody, where is the hospital? I'm sick. It's Around the corner of street. Yes. Next so, to the police station. That's the one next to the police station. So simple as that. Así que ahora ya pueden dar address. Yes. Dominado o no dominado. Or 50-50. <laughs> practice, practice. Exactly. So, listen. In our country, estamos acostumbrados a dar direcciones como, ah, por el palo de mango, <laughs> right? So, it's necessary, everybody, sobre todo ustedes, porque es lo que ustedes más que todo ven en su trabajo. Right? Necesitan aprenderse los nombres de las calles, ok? And remember, primero decimos on, luego el nombre de la calle y luego un punto de referencia. 
right? So, intenten practicarlo. De repente pregúntenle a su compañero, hey, where is the supermarket? <laughs> y a ver si su classmate les puede dar direcciones in English. Y luego le pregunten, hey, where is your house? ¿A dónde está tu casa? Ah, y veamos si su classmate puede dar address. Ok, so try to practice. Entre más lo practiquen, más lo van a memorizar. Preguntas, everybody, do you have any questions about giving address? Questions? Okay, let's continue then. Uh, Tomorrow I, I will ask you. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Si la dirección fuera en una zona rural, uh -huh. ¿cómo, ¿cómo referenciar este, eh, correctamente la, 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 la dirección? In that case, right, it's a little bit more complicated porque como que no tenemos un punto de referencia a la par. Right? Lo que podemos hacer es dar direcciones un poquito más specific. For example, podríamos decir a cuántas cuadras está. Right? For example, look at here. Digamos que esta es la casa. Ay, aquí vivo. Pero yo no tengo ningún punto de referencia. Entonces, ¿qué podemos decir? Ah, it's on Pine Avenue. Y digamos que ustedes están desde acá, solo le dicen a cuántas cuadras están. Digamos, una, dos. ¿Y cómo digo cuadras? Ayer se los dije. Do you remember? Block. Yeah. Exactly. You can say two, block. two blocks down street. Down to street es hacia abajo. abajo. Right? So, ¿qué pasa si no es hacia abajo, sino que es, por ejemplo, a la izquierda? Dos cuadras a la izquierda. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? Two blocks Left. on two block. the, left. the left. Lo contrario, dos cuadras a la derecha. Two blocks on, on the, the right. right. Exactly. So, podemos ir especificando con cuadras. Two blocks on the tortillería. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Vea la tortillería. Two blocks from the tortillería. Right? Two blocks from the mangoes. Tree. <laughs> so, el punto es que vayamos tratando la manera de usar vocabulary. All right? So, try to practice. Try to practice porque entre más lo practiquen, más se los van a memorizar. All right? ¿Entendido, everybody? Yes. yes. All right. Okay, let's continue then. Um, we are going to have this practice. I need a volunteer for reading the instructions, please. Tell someone direction of where my workplace and someone else's are located. 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 Yes. Exactly. Thank you. So we are going to work in pairs. Uh, microphones, please. Okay, microphones. Thank you. So we are going to work in pairs. Uno de ustedes va a ser el letter A. Y uno de ustedes va a ser letter B. So, vamos a, com a, a tener esta como conversation. So, for example, volunteer for reading the letter B, please. Tell my where do you work? Very good. So, ustedes están platicando con sus classmates y le dicen, hey, tell me where do you work? ¿Cómo contestaríamos? Ah, I work... In uh, city hall. Uh, okay. In the city hall. City in the city hall. hall. In okay. The city hall. In the city hall. Okay. Y viene su classmate. Continue reading, please. La siguiente pregunta. Where, Where is, is it? it? Very good. Where is it? Ahora, como ya sabemos dar direcciones, tell me, where is the city hall? The it's first on avenue. First street. Okay, first. One street. Okay, avenue. the first street or avenue. Uh -huh, and then? Uh, next, next to, to the, the park. park. Okay, next, next to, the park. to the park. Perfect. Next question, please, volunteer. Where does your best friend work? Thank you. Now, third 
person? What will be the answer? Look at the letter S. She? Work in. She works in. Think about your best in, friend. In the city hall too? <laughs> okay, cambiemos, cambiemos. Uh huh. In. She works in the park. Okay, in, in the park. She works in the park. And where is it? Donde está el park? Uh, okay, otra vez. It's on primero el name de la street. It's on. Uh -huh. It's on corner uh, Pierce Avenue. And, uh, okay, uh, on the corner. Main street. Next on, Fifth Avenue, Main Street. Oh, on the First Avenue, Main Street. ¿Y cuál sería, el punto, cuál sería el punto de referencia? Behind the church. Behind the church. Very good. So that is what we are going to do right now. Vamos a tener esta conversation, pero tratemos de que suene un poquito natural. So, for example, si está Ana, for example, con Elizabeth. Ana empieza y le dice, OK, Elizabeth, tell me, where do you work? Y Elizabeth contesta. So, where is it? Ah, it's on ta 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 ta. And where does your best friend work? Ah, she works in ta 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 ta. And where is it? Ah, it's on. And you continue with the information. Y luego, switch. Viene Elizabeth y ella pregunta, So, Ana, tell me, where do you work? Y continúan la conversation. Understood? ¿Se entiende cómo van a hacer la conversation? No. No? Okay, I will explain again. Yeah. So, van a estar en parejas. Uno de ustedes va a ser el A y uno de ustedes va a ser el B. Solo tienen que ir haciendo las preguntas y respondiendo. Cuando hayan terminado, cambian. La persona que fue el A va a ser el B. ¿Ok? Para que así los dos puedan preguntar y los dos puedan responder. Les voy a enviar esta conversation on WhatsApp group. Right? Para que ustedes tengan el ejemplo y que no se les vayan a olvidar las preguntas. Be careful. Con If esas they... respuestas, teacher. No, you can change it. Pueden cambiar las respuestas. Ahorita les voy a enviar las questions, but you can change the answers. For example, piensen en su mejor amigo. Su mejor amigo posiblemente no trabaja en la City Hall, right? So the information can change. Algunos posiblemente, yo sé que ustedes todos trabajan en el City Hall, so posiblemente la dirección sea la misma, pero el punto de referencia que den puede ser un poquito diferente, ¿ok? So, let's go to practice in this moment, everybody, no more Spanish. And please remember, if it is third person, you need to pronounce the letter S. You ready, everybody? Yes, todos listos, everybody ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hola, hello. Hola, Lili. Hola. Perfecto. Empieza o empieza. You will start. Tell me, where do you go? Hola, hello. Uh, tell me, where do you go? I work in 
the city hall. Yes. Um, where is it? Or oh, where mm. it is? Mm. It is on. Central Street next to the park. Okay. Um, where? Okay. Where is it? Where is it? It is on our street, our street, um, between the Colonia Paulinka. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. where, Hi, where is that or? Dale, Ricky. Tell me where I, I, I were in City Hall. Mm -hmm. A todo modo ahí trabajamos. No, hombre, cambie. Where Vaya, is it? Pues. Okay, where, where is it? Okay, where, where is it? Is it on? Um, hey, 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 Eh, este to block on the eh, qué precision va a usar ayuda mi hombre Puchica. por eso qué precision va a usar una Para cuadra abajo the block on the no no, no. One block. One block. Ay, huela. Down, one, block. one block. Down street. Down street. Down street. One block. Down street. <laughs> Punto de referencia. <laughs> ¿Cómo es ferretería? Hardware store. Ay, estoy mal con estos cuatro días que no estuve, señor. Ok, so está a la par, enfrente, atrás de la ferretería. Where? Oh, oh, um, behind. Ah, <laughs> behind the hardware the store. store. <laughs> you see? <Tino. laughs> okay, who's next? Who's next? Uh, next, Angelio. Uh, where does your destiny work? <laughs> Where oh, does oh. your best friend work? Your qualification is zero. <laughs> <laughs> you finish? Okay. Okay, let's go back to the main room. <laughs> All right, time's it's up, time's so up. My best friend 
It's your no, teacher. It uh -huh. like nobody in my room. Nobody. No, only me. So really, oh my yes, goodness. Nobody. Okay. Just Ah, no, but what happened is, Joanny, a usted lo había puesto con Rigoberto. Rigoberto, usted no entró al room. It's false. <laughs> Tengo capturas de pantalla que lo muestran. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, no sé por qué, quizás no le, no, no sé. But, uh, Rigoberto, you were with Joanny's. No sé. Look at this. Look. Here we got the rooms. So... That's why, por eso les digo, just always try to enter to the breaking rooms. Algunos no entran y por eso tengo que mover a última hora. Algunos, por eso es que algunos grupos incluso quedan de tres, right? So, but let's try. So, Joannis, como usted no practicó, yo le voy a preguntar a usted. So, let's see. Joannis, where do you work? I work in the city hall. And where is it? Is in the main street, close to the park. All right. And where does your best friend work? My best friend work in the church. In the church? Yeah, church. Okay. And where is it? It is um, First Street, close to the park. Okay. That's the one. Thank you, Joannis. Okay. Everybody, what do you think? Is it? Easy or difficult to give address? Un uh -huh. Un Easy. Poco difficult. A little difficult. All right. 50-50. We need to practice the prepositions. Okay. So if we have time tomorrow, we can practice a little bit more. Okay. But remember, you need to try to memorize it. Now Let's continue, let's stop giving address. It's time to practice a little bit the topic that we studied yesterday. Do you remember the other topic that we studied yesterday? There is and there are. Very good, there is and there are. So if I'm talking in singular, can I use there is or there are? Which one? There, there is. Ah, if it is in plural, there are. there are, as simple as that. If it is in negative, there are, there is no, there is no, no, okay, if I, if I have the quantifier a lot of, which one can I use? A lot of with there is or with there are? There are. Puedo usar, puedo usar a lot of con there is? No. 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 Never. Okay. How about the word some? ¿Qué dijimos que significaba some? Algunos. Can I use some with there is or with there are? There are. There are. Always with there are. So, no podemos usar a lot of, ni tampoco there, eh, there, I mean, some with there is. We can't. So, con there is, ¿puedo usar a or an? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes that's correct. So, that is what we studied yesterday. There is and there are. Here we got some examples. There is an ATM, there's a recruitment center. If it is in negative, you know that you just need to add no or not, okay? It's basically the same. And in plural, we can use the quantifier a lot of or some or the negative form, just add no. So, imagine in these pictures, choose the correct answers. Volunteer for reading the number one? There, there, there are for people in my home. Thank you. So, look at this. For people. So, what would be the correct answer? There is or there are? There are. There are. There ah, are there are because is 
plural. plural. Very good. How about in the number two? At my school, da, 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 a gym. There is or there, there are? There is. There is. There is. There is. Is only one singular. Okay, if I'm talking about a swimming pool in my town. There is. There is. Look, the letter the letter A is saying yeah. that it's only pool. one. How about the next one? Volunteer for reading. There, there are six letters. It's my first name. Okay, uh -huh, everybody. There is or there are? Microphones, please. There are. There are. There are. There are. Yes, it's there plural. Are. Very good. Very good. Number five. A lot of shops in my town. Shops. There are. There, there, are. Are. there are. There are. Very good. And the last one, there is or there are a beach near my house. There is. There is. There is. Is singular. All of these sentences are in affirmative. Let's do another exercise with some sentences, but in negative and singular and plural. Look at the picture and complete the sentences. Can you see the picture? Yes. Okay, what will be the correct one? Talking about the sofa. There so is. there is or there, there is. is. Ah, there is, we have a sofa. Okay, how about some plants? There are. There are. There are. Yes, we have one, two, three. Okay, how about chairs? There is no. They are, in, are not any hmm. chairs. Ah, plural. Any. There, there isn't are, no. or there aren't? There, is, there aren't. There aren't. Yeah. There the aren't because it's the, the plural. Aren't. Excellent, excellent. How about television? Do we have television? No. So there is no television. There isn't or there aren't. There isn't. 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 Singular. Okay. Two cats. There are. There are. There, are. There, are. there are. there are. Very good. There are two cats. How about two dogs? Do we have two dogs? Only one. Only one. So what will be the correct one? There aren't. There aren't two dogs. There aren't two dogs. Next one. Three pictures. Do we have yes. three pictures? Yes. yes. There so, are. Very there good. Are. There are. A man. A man. Only man. There is. So can I there say is. there is or there are? There is. There is. There is. There is. There How about is. a table? Can you see a table? No. 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 There is not. There is not. And mice. Do you know what mice is? Uh, yeah. So mice is a in the form. Ah, so, no. so there are there are or there are. isn't or oh, there, there are. are there are there are some mice. Oops, is here. Right. So there are some mice. Mice is the plural of mouse. So como digo ratón, solo un ratón decimos. One mouse. 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 Pero si tengo plural, el plural de ratón sería mice. Mice. Ok. Mice. ¿Cómo digo ratones? Mice. Mice. Only one? Mice. Mouse. 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 Very good. Excellent. So mm -hmm. that's the way that we can use there is and there are. Okay, just remember, if it is in singular, there is. If it is in plural, there are. If it is in negative, just add the word not. Okay? Now, look at this room. 
I will ask one by one. Yesenia, can you give me a sentence using there is or there are? ¿Qué puede ver en esta room? Mm, there, there is window. There is a window. Very a window. good. Let's see, Veronica. Give me a sentence. Um, there are uh, juguetes, no sé. Toys. 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 There are toys. Yes, very good. Um, Joannis, give me a sentence. There is a bed. There is a bed. Okay. Wilson, give me a sentence. There is a door. There is a door. Good. Okay, now everybody, can you tell me sentences in negative? For example, there isn't a TV. What else? Can you give me another sentence in negative, singular or plural? Uh -huh. There isn't a sofa. There isn't a sofa. Yes, very good. There isn't a table. There isn't a table. Correct. There is a chair. There, there isn't, isn't a chair. Uh, TV. There isn't there a TV. Isn't a TV. Mm -hmm. There isn't a cat. There isn't a cat. <laughs> Correct. So there, there, isn't isn't a man. Man. there isn't a man. There isn't a mouse. <laughs> Good. So the idea, everybody, is now that we can use there is and there are, Let's describe my workplace. I want you to tell me the things that you have in your workplace. Piensen en su oficina. Piensen en el lugar donde ustedes trabajan. Okay? ¿Qué hay y qué no hay? So, here we got some vocabulary. Imagine that this is an office. Okay? What kind of things can you see in this office? For example, ah, there is a window. There is a calendar. What else? There is a, a computer. There is a computer. Computer. Uh -huh. There are some books. There is a chair. There are fields. There okay. is a drawer, drawers. Drawers. So drawers, drawers yes. is it singular <clears throat> or plural? <clears throat> plural. plural. No, drawers. we have to say there are drawers. drawers. How about escritorio? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Desk. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Desk. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Desk. Desk. How about files? There is or there are? There are. There are. There are files. How about bookshelves? ¿Qué significa bookshelves? Exactly, very good. So, drawers es como un gavetero, right? En bookshelf es el stand para los libros. En lugar de decir drawers, también, porque drawers se puede entender como gavetas, right? Pero también están los gabinetes. ¿Cómo decimos gabinetes? File, File cabinet. cabinet. Do you have files cabinets in your job? Yes. yes. Ah, very good. How yes. about paper clip? Do you have paper clip in your job? Yes. Yes. So there is or there are? There are. There are. There are, there are a lot of paper clips. How about printer? Do you have a printer in your job? There isn't. There isn't. Yes. <laughs> okay. There isn't. Never, on, never. <laughs> never All right. Okay. So 
Um, because of the time, les voy a mandar la picture, right? Para que puedan tener el vocabulary. Si tienen tiempito, right? Traten de escribirlos, traten de irlos memorizando, please. Para tener más vocabulary, all right? Let me send the picture with the vocabulary on the group. So the idea is to describe our workplace. For example, look at this office. It's a very nice office. So can you yeah. tell me the things that we have here using there is, there are, or in negative, there isn't, there aren't? Give me sentences. Yeah. There are some windows. There are some windows. Okay. There is a computer. There is a computer. Very good. There is a maceta, como dice. <laughs> you can say plan. Ah, plan. Uh -huh. there, is plan. there is a plant. There is a chair. Only one chair? Mm -hmm. There are. I think that there are two. Look. Table. Uh -huh. Table there or is. tables? Uh, tables. Uh -huh. There are tables. Anything yeah, else? Your... There is a mouse. Okay. There, there, is, a there is a curtain. Okay, can there you tell me? There clock. isn't? Oh, very good. There isn't a clock. No hay reloj, so there isn't a clock. What else? Negative, negative sentences. There isn't a print. There, there is, isn't a print. There is a people. There are a people. There are or there aren't? There, there, are. there aren't. There aren't people, people. correct. What else? There aren't. There are. There isn't books. There isn't books or there aren't books. There aren't, there aren't books. There aren't books. Great job. So exactly there like that. There isn't a picture. There no. isn't a picture. Very good. How about this office? What can you see here? Um, there, there are, are some uh, computers. Computer. Computer. There are some computers. There are computers. There is uh, an archivist. Box. Box. Mm -hmm. there so is box. there is a box. There what is else? A there is a grabber. It's a shade. Ventilador, uh -huh. se... Ventilador, como se dice? Fan. There is a fan. There is a cup. There is a cup. There, there is a glass one. Glass. Okay, there is a glass. Yes, we there have a, a cup. Lamp. The glass. There is a lamp. There is, there is, there is a mochila. Como se dice mochila? Mochila, everybody. Bag. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. uh, bag. Bag. You can say bag. Uh huh. There is a printer. But uh, we can say folders or we can say files. files. Okay, files. look at this. What is what is this? How can I say this? Archiving. Okay. Drawers. 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 So Drawers. there is or there are. Where are there are there are. There are. There are. Okay. There is a phone. There is a phone, like a cell uh, phone. It's yeah. Printer. Uh huh. How about here? I can see, oops, sorry. I can see like pencils, I guess. There so, is, there yes, are, there are there some are pictures. There are some pencils. Um, so pencils. if you see, we are describing work place so that is exactly what i want you to do right now i want you to think of your workplace and i want you to describe your workplace tell me sentences using there is and sentences using there are for example ah hmm, in my workplace there is a laptop okay um, you can say it in plural. Ah, uh -huh. there are a lot of books. 
So you can tell me negatives too. For example, mm, there is not, for example, I escuché printer, right? There is not a printer or hmm, there aren't, a ver, let's see in plurals, there aren't pencils, right? So I want you to think in your workplace and try to describe all the things that you have and the things that you don't have, okay? So use there is and there are. Quiero que por lo menos tratemos de usar many details. Así que por lo menos usemos three sentences, okay, con there is, y por lo menos three sentences with there are. Okay, si quieren escribir más, I mean, much better. Okay, so everybody, three sentences using their is, three sentences using their are. Entre ellas pueden incluir negatives. Okay, so you will have five minutes to write the sentences. Pueden utilizar el vocabulary que les acabo de enviar. Okay, think about your workplace. Describe it. Escriban las oraciones in your notebook, please. If you have questions with the vocabulary, just let me know. Go ahead. So in total, six sentences. Remember, pueden escribir in affirmative or in negatives. If you have questions, just let me know. <clears throat> Teacher, yes, go ahead. Eh, ¿Cómo se escribe impresoras o copiadoras? You can say printer, like this, ah, printer, uh -huh. printer okay, is, in, is in singular, si quieren plural, solo le agrega la letter S, printers. Ah, okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. If you have questions, just let me know. ¿Qué significa file, file cabinet, teacher? File cabinet? ¿Sí? Oh, this is similar to this. Um, like this one. Es como un gabinete. Look. Gabinete, ok. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gracias. You're welcome. If you have questions, everyone, just let me know, please. ¿Cómo se dice eh, grapadora o cómo más? ¿En grapadora? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, es... Oh, stapler. stapler. Yes, okay. it's in the vocabulary. Yes, stapler. Thanks, 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 thanks. You're welcome. 
If you have questions, just let me know, please. Finished, teacher. Excellent, very good. Go ahead, everybody. You have two more minutes. If you have questions, please just let me know. Remember, describe everything. You can say if you have a window or a door, okay? A fan, si tienen un ventilador or not, or air conditioner, okay? A computer, a book, everything. Try to describe everything. One more minute. So everybody, are you ready? Did you finish the sentence or not yet? Yes. Yes, yes. everybody ready? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, very good. So it's time to share our answers with your classmates, okay? So you will be in teams and everybody has to share the information that you have. Okay, so go and talk to your classmates and describe your workplace. Si escuchan que su classmate um, dijo una palabra que no la pronunció bien o la dijo en español, remember, try to help each other. Okay, traten de ayudarse y decirle, ah, se dice así y así. Okay, if your classmate usa their is, Y dice la palabra en plural, mm -mm, tell them, hey, that is in singular. Understood? So let's try to help each other. So in this moment, Teacher. no more Spanish. Yes, go ahead. Eh, la eh, cuestión, ¿cómo es? La pregunta que, ¿cómo, que le oh. vamos a hacer, no la anoté. Oh, it's okay. Describe your workplace. I'm going to write it again. Esa es la pregunta que le van a hacer a su classmate. Describe okay, okay. your workplace. Describe your workplace. Okay, aquí le estamos pidiendo que describa su área de trabajo. Okay, describe your workplace. So let's go, Thank everybody. You. You're welcome. Remember, in this moment, let's try to avoid Spanish. Okay, let's go to work. ¿Cómo es la pregunta? Describe your workplace. No, no la noté, teacher. I'm going to send it in the chat. Ok, ¿quién empieza? Ay. Star Wilson. No puedo. Describe yo, pues. your workplace. In my way, in my workplace, uh, there there is a desk. 
uh, there is a world, world club, there is a share, uh, mm -hmm. in plural, uh, there are uh, uh, staplers, there are uh, books, there are uh, stationaries, uh, in negative, uh, there is a uh, sofa, there is an a car, there is an a uh, table. Okay. <clears throat> it's good job. Excellent, Wilson. You ask the question. Arbin. Okay. Describe, describe your workplace. In my workplace, there is a stepler, there is no rule, there are some chairs, there are a lot of computers, there are a lot of paper clips, there are... Okay, okay, okay. Um, there is a... This one. computer, there is uh, a laptop, there is laptop. no cloth. Laptop, sería. A laptop. Lap Solo una tenemos. Okay. Sí, laptop. There is a laptop. Okay. Sí. Sí, nice. There is no cloth. Mm. There are a lot of. A lot of Paper clip. A lot of clips. Oh, okay. A lot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There are some printer. Uh -huh. There are okay. aren't plants. Plants. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Anna Camina, okay. describe your okay. workplace. Okay, um, uh, there is a world, world of clocks. Uh, there isn't a desk. Uh, there isn't bookshelf. Um, there are some uh, pictures. There are some pictures. There are two televisions. If there aren't uh, drawers. Uh, te television. Television. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mejor diga TV. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Preguntó y me <laughs> Okay. Um. Well, it, uh, ya le escuché todo lo que dijo usted. <laughs> Correcto. Okay. Let me explain one more time. There is a picture. There is a book. There is a paper clip. There are so many calendars. There are lost files. There are some Printers. Correct. Okay. In a tank. Hmm? There is a lot of crazy. There uh -huh. is a lot of crazy. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> How was the practice? Good. Easy? Very good. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Did you listen? There is and there are. Yes. Yes, okay. Spanish? So, so. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Okay. Very good. Very good. Did your classmate use correctly there is and there are? 
Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Now I want you to I want to interview you, but first I'm going to check attendance again. So if you listen to your names, stay present. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Douglas. Douglas Arnoldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Alex. Present teacher. Harvin Vladimir. Present. Jesus Ernesto. Present teacher. Jesus Joannis. Present teacher. Rigoberto Padilla. Rigoberto, no. Ausent. Okay. Eh, eh, solo entra, no, no, no. <laughs> Enrique. Solo entró y se fue. <laughs> Present teacher. All right. Selvis. Present teacher. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sonia Verónica. Present teacher. Okay. Wilson Ortega. Present teacher. Okay. Xiomar Elizabeth. Present. Lili Navarro. Present teacher. Very good. All right. Excellent, everybody. Now, I want to listen to your description. So I will pick some of you and you have to describe your workplace. So let's see who's going to be the first one. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to choose with the random names. Okay, vamos a ver quién tiene más suerte el día de hoy. Sonia Verónica. Okay, Sonia, describe your workplace. There are a compu... Ay, se no sé cómo. Computers. Computer, thanks. Computer. Okay, repeat again, please. There are a computers. Okay. There are a, there is a safe safe algo así se pronuncia caja fuerte safe, safe. box yes mm -hmm. okay there there is no clock okay there a lot of papers papeles there is or there are there are okay there are a windows. A window or a windows? Windows. Okay. There are a lot of people. A lot of people. All right. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Nice job. Okay. Now let's see who's next. Ernesto. Okay, Ernesto, describe your work. Hi, hello. <laughs> uh, hey, Ernesto. There is a computer. Mm -hmm. There is a printer. There are windows. There, uh, there are files. There is uh, a desk. Mm -hmm. There is uh, a calendar. Uh, there are files uh, or, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, archivero. Cabinet or oh, files cabinet. File, files cabinet. All right. Very good. Thank you, Jesus. You see, guys, very easy. Okay, let's see who's next. Joanny, okay, Joanny, yes. describe your workplace. There, there are there is a picture, there is a book, there is a paper clip, paper clip. There are um, many calendars. They there are uh, lost files. There are um some printer hmm, there are some printer or printers 
printers. That's the one. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Very good. Let's see who's next. Siomara Elizabeth. Okay, Siomara, describe your workplace. And um, there is child. Um, there is desk. There is computing. Um, there aren't book chairs. Only that? Um, there are in conditioner, conditioner, con, con aire conditioner, conditioner, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Air conditioner. Oh, aire conditioner. Okay, is that there air is or there are? Yes. There is. There is air conditioner. Yes. Air conditioner. Uh -huh. Air conditioner. Yes. Uh huh. What else? Um, <coughs> si me las, las otras que le dije. Yes. Only that. Sí. Okay. Um, solo esa. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Samara. Very good job. Okay. Let's see who's next. Selvis. Okay, Selvis, drive your work. Hello. There, there is picture. Me escucha? Yes, go ahead. Continue. There is plan. Mm -hmm. There is calendar. There are a lot lactons. There are um, glaze, glaze, lentes, glasses, glasses. or glasses. Mm -hmm. There are um, TVs. Very good. Selvin's nice job. Thank you. Okay, the last one. Let's see. Lily. Okay, Lily, describe your workplace. There is a computer. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a um, laptop. There is no cloth. Okay. There, there are a lot of paper clips. Paper clips? Uh huh. Paper clips. They are some printer. They aren't plants. Okay. Nice job. Thank you, Lily. Okay, super good job, everybody. Because of the time, no les puedo preguntar a todos, pero estuve escuchando los grupos. Y mientras estuve escuchando los grupos, escuché pequeños details. For example, there are a computers. Is that sentence correct? No. No, 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 no. Why not? No, no. Ah, no, lleva A. Ah. ah, we cannot use the letter A because A is for singular. So we have to say there are computers. Can I say there is chair? Is that correct? Mm. There is a chair. Mm -hmm. Ah, a chair. we need to say, ah, so to identify there is only one, there is a chair. Very good job. Okay, so this is the way that we can describe our workplace. Understood? Everybody? Yes? Questions? No. No questions? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, 
If you don't have questions, I have questions. Look at this. Um, my gosh, we only have 10 minutes. So look at this. I have these questions, for example, how many people are there in your family? What will be the answer? How many people are there in your family? There are four. Okay, there are four people. people. Very good. Is there a good restaurant near your house? Yes or no? Everybody? Yeah, yeah there is. is there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, podemos decir yes, there is, or no, there is no. Okay, volunteer for reading the next question. Number three. How many oh. chairs are, the, are in there the in your room? Uh huh. What will be the answer? How many chairs? How many chairs? There is a chair. Okay. A secretary chair. We can say there is a chair, or we can say there is one chair. ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir que no hay sillas? How can I say that? There isn't. There isn't a chair. Good. Next question. Yeah. Volunteer for reading. Is there a pen in your desk? Correct. What is the answer? Is there a pen on your desk? What is the meaning of pen? Lapicero. Lapicero. Uh -huh. So, is there a pen on your desk? Escritorio. Uh -huh. Yes, there is. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes, there is. There is a lot of pen. There is a lot of? <laughs> or there are? are. Okay. Are. So, si tienen muchos, diríamos, yes, there are a lot of pens very good and the last one volunteer for reading question number five how many oh, stores uh, are in your city okay stores what is the meaning of stores Tienda. Tienda. Mm -hmm. how many stores are there in your city Muchas. There are Much. a lot of. Ah, okay. How can I say muchas? There are. A lot. There are a lot of a lot stores. Of. There are a lot of stores in my city. So we are going to answer these questions using there is and there are. The answers will be different. For example, people in your family, algunos pueden decir, ah, there is five people. No, there are five people. Ah, there are three people. Okay, and so on and so on. So we only have five minutes for this activity. Again, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group. Please, everybody, try to enter to the breaking rooms. Quiero que todos participen. Ok, porque repito, así es como vamos a ir aprendiendo. Ok, so no more Spanish in this moment. Everybody enter to the breaking rooms, please. We only have five minutes for this activity. So let's go to work. If you have questions, um, ask your classmates. La idea es que nos ayudemos entre todos. Ok, so let's go to work. No more Spanish, please. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Guillermo. Okay. Uh, I start, okay. How many? Number one, how many people are there, are there in your family? How many people are, are there in your family? There is... No, me recuerdo, there is... The, 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 si son más, es that there are... 
Dos nomás. Two. También. There are two. There are two. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. Family. Number two. Is there a good restaurant near your house? Ok, let's do something. Sorry there. to interrupt. Vayan contestando la misma pregunta todos, porque si no después no les va a alcanzar el tiempo. So, Selvis, answer the number one. So, Elizabeth, answer the question number one. Um, I, um, um, there are, there are um, ten, ten, people. Ten, ten people. Okay. How about you, Guillermo? Answer the question number yes, one. Yes, there, there are two, two integrants. All right, perfect. Ahora, ya todos respondieron a question number one. Ahora, everybody answer the question number two. Go ahead. The start service. Number two, please. Is there a, is, is there a good restaurant near your house? No, no, there, there, there isn't. There isn't. Elizabeth? Yes, uh, they are. They there aren't. or there are? Ah. There aren't. There they aren't, aren't yes, or there are? are. Yes, All right. Are. Okay, and Selvis, how about you? There isn't. There isn't. Okay, perfect. No. Okay, continue. Question number no. three, please. Number three, how many chairs are there in your room? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Hello, how, many, how many chairs are there in your room? Yes, o sea, okay. cuántas sillas hay en tu... No <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> ah, ¿no cuántas sillas hay en la oficina? Eh, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, Wilson, how many? No entendido. <laughs> ¿Cuántas? No Spanish. Okay, <laughs> how many chairs? If you want to sit down, you have the table and you have the chairs. All right? So, what don't say it in Spanish. I'm going to show you a picture, okay? This is chair. Okay, so how many chairs do you have in your room? One, two, three, zero. Uh huh. Okay. How many? The room, the room, uh, four chairs. Okay, there is or there are. There is, there are, there are four chairs. That's the one. Excellent. Uh huh. Next question, or did you finish? Finish. Excellent. Finish. Okay, let's go back to the main room because we don't have more time. Let's go back. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay, time's up, everybody. Time's up, time's up. How was the practice? Easy or difficult? Difficult. <laughs> difficult. Difficult. Okay, all right. We will continue practicing, don't worry, but let's wait for the rest of your classmates. Let's wait for them. Okay, let's see. Time's up, time's up, everybody. Let's go back. Let's go back, let's go back. Okay, 
So, there is and there are. Lo más importante es recordar, there is, is for singular or plural? Singular. 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 Exactly. There is, is for singular. How about there are? There are for, is for? Plural. 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 Exactly. So, important. Mm. Y esto, guys, please, tenganlo en mente. Can I say this? For example, ah, there are a, a lot of restaurant is that sentence correct yes or no no why no. not uh, some the ah, restaurant we need the letter s because it's plural so plural. eso lo tienen que tener en mente porque a veces me están diciendo ah there are a uh, 10 chair no Chairs. Ah, there are a lot of restaurants. No, restaurants. So, si es en plural, please agreguemos el plural. Okay? Now, we don't have more time. Mañana vamos a seguir. So, don't worry. Antes de irnos, solo les quito un minutito, everybody, para que vean cómo van con la plataforma. Okay? So, a estas alturas, I'm sorry. Yo voy mal. <laughs> ah, no, yo sé. Uh, yo sé que algunos, algunos ya terminaron hasta la semana número cuatro. Ay, And that's super good. I finish. Okay. Yes, hay Pero unos que ya me, terminaron me, completamente. Me veo, ah, no, 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 no. Yes, Rogelio, usted ni siquiera ha terminado la, la semana <laughs> dos. A I mí, mean, con la semana dos <laughs> estamos bien atrasados. Look. So, Ay, mm, my so goodness. <laughs> yes. And yo. media. Ok, ¿quién dijo yo? Selvis. Selvis, veamos Selvis, usted está acá. Ahí ok, estaba. aquí está. Básicamente le falta la unidad 4, que sería esta semana. Right? Yo, teacher, quiero saber también que no he hecho nada. Yo he, yo he estado haciendo unas, pero no sé. Ok, wait, veamos, Douglas, Douglas ya terminó, look, Douglas, básicamente usted, veamos, usted está pendiente solo con el examen, no, de hecho usted, Douglas, usted ya terminó. Good. Uh, yeah. Ok, hold on, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, usted está pendiente, Elizabeth de la semana 4. Yes. 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 Pero también y también el examen final. Okay. Teacher, yo, okay. Yo Selvis, ok, everybody, everybody, hold on, que todos me están hablando al mismo tiempo. Vamos con Selvis. Selvis, sí, se ve que ha estado trabajando. Look, aquí tiene 40%. Es decir, que le faltan algunos ejercicios para poder terminar la semana 4. No, no, uh -huh. Pero hoy terminé, según yo. Mm, revise bien los exercise o tal vez obtuvo respuestas equivocadas, maybe no, me aparecieron todas y me apareció el siguiente módulo después mm, bueno, revise otra vez la semana 4, voy a revisar yo después su progreso, pero trate de revisar otra vez la semana 4 porque ahorita yo tengo que solo tiene el 40%, significa que tal no, vez no los ha hecho todos yes? ok, ok Wilson. Wilson. Uh -huh. sí. eh, teacher, cuando, cuando uno está haciendo la tarea y este, digamos uno se equivoca, ahí aparece una como autocorrección, luego uno corrige, pero ahí yo creo que la, la nota ahí ya disminuye un poco, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, unfortunately cuando se equivocan everybody sí les tiende a bajar un poquito la calificación. Yes. Mira, Así teacher, que... yo... Aquí dice que voy por la tarea 12. No sé. <risa> ok, Rogelio, listen. Para empezar. <risa> bueno, ok, listen, Enrique. Lo que pasa es que Rogelio pura copia la ha hecho todas. Ok, Enrique, por favor, usted primero tiene que terminar desde la semana 2, porque de la semana 2 estamos atrasados. Now, everybody, listen, la plataforma ah, pues no, sí, es, no es opcional. Ah. 
La plataforma, everybody pay attention. La plataforma no es opcional. Cuando ustedes aceptaron este programa, supieron que es obligation. Así que, please remember, este curso termina el viernes. El viernes, al terminar la clase, yo tengo que actualizar las notas. ¿Ok? Es terminando la clase, yo voy a revisar quienes ya terminaron y quienes no. No les puedo asegurar que les van a dar el fin de semana para eh, terminar la plataforma. Yo voy a pedir que se los permita, porque yo sé que por su trabajo, right? Pero todavía no estoy segura si se los van a terminar. Así que para mayor seguridad, tratemos de terminar la plataforma antes del viernes. ¿Ok? I mean, antes de la clase, por lo menos. And, en su caso, Douglas, usted ya está. I mean, usted está libre de pecado, right? Ya usted, okay. Douglas, lo único que usted tiene que hacer... Piedra, entonces. <ríe> todavía no, todavía <ríe> no. Pero Douglas, en su caso, lo único que necesito es que se conecte las clases que restan para que no le afecte la asistencia. ¿Ok? Con la plataforma estamos ready, pero con la asistencia no. Así que, please, no me falte las otras dos clases. Now, everybody, algunos ya El terminaron. Detalle, <ríe> El viernes no sé, me voy a conectar, me voy a conectar, pero algo tarde. Pero conéctese, no worries. Es que, es que tengo una semifinal y no puedo quedarme sin jugar. Ay, my gosh. <ríe> Ya le vamos a bajar puntos. Ok, everybody, para los que ya terminaron las tareas, están pendientes con el examen final, right? Si algunos ya hicieron el examen final, algunos todavía no. Así que, please, eh, trabajemos, pongámonos al día. El examen podrían realizarlo el viernes o Después de la clase de mañana, mañana vamos a ver eh, uno de los topics que, que creo que es lo único que falta, pero ya básicamente ahorita ya podrían hacerlo porque ya los temas que se le van a evaluar, pues ya están ahí. Así que, eh, pero please, pongámonos al día, los que vamos atrasados con la plataforma, necesito que se pongan al día. No es opcional, <ríe> es una obligation. Así que, ¿preguntas con la plataforma? No? No. Ok. So, everybody, ya no tenemos tiempo. Hoy nadie se va a quedar. So, everybody, good night. And see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.